Hi, hi, hi. The objective of this video is to determine how large of a sample size are we going to need in order to achieve the desired margin of error that we want for our population mean mu. So let's jump to page 12 of our notes. Now as I consider a T distribution, just like with the um, the proportion, I have to look at the idea of the margin of error to make a determination on how to come up with an adequate sample size. That is, of course, when I'm given the margin of error. So as we remind ourselves, here is the margin of error for the t interval. It is t star times the standard deviation of the sample divided by the square root of n. So it seems reasonable that if I'm going to be finding a sample size given a margin of error, I would use this formula also. But the reality is, no, we aren't. We're going to be using a z. Now, let's talk about why really quickly. It's because if one thing about a t versus a z, as you increase your sample size, the t star approaches the z star. So this is saying as their sample size gets bigger and bigger and bigger, this t distribution starts to approach a normal distribution. So if that's the case, which it is, that stands to reason that you can't stick with t because it's with t it's really small sample sizes. You don't know how big it's going to be. Truly you don't know how little it's going to be. So that means that we're not going to be using t star, we're going to be using z star because with this our sample size is unlimited. Another thing that means that here since I'm using z, I'm going to be using sigma. So what happens when you're not given sigma? You're going to try to get a reasonable value for sigma. So does that mean that the standard deviation of the sample, sometimes you're going to use that as a standard deviation of our population? The answer is, yeah. We try to avoid it and try to come up with a more um, specific sigma, but sometimes it's not possible. And again, of course, in using this formula, I mentioned um, as I was kind of going backwards here, the idea of why are we using, we're using a z star, so that means we got to find a critical value z. So as we look at here, how do we choose it? Here are the answers. What is the formula? This is the formula we're using. I mentioned why we're not using this. Because again, t is small samples. That, that limits your value for n. But if you have um, use z, that means your sample size could be 1,000. It could be 5,000. It could be something huge. So now I want you to go to problem number 73, and let's do it. OK, so now as I start this problem number 73, Let's notice here that our margin of error is equal to 1. Okay, our level C is 99%. The Z star associated with that is 2.576. Notice I'm putting it into the equation. And what do I do? I totally dismiss that inequality. Remember, when I see this, this is what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about that it's equal to. I go ahead and do the math, and after I've done the math, then that's when I stick my inequality in there. Yes, you would be considered wrong if you said t is equal to 374 because we're saying at minimum I want 374. Now, let's go ahead and do problem number 74. Okay, so you can see here the z-scar associated with the, 90, the level C of 95%. So I'm just taking it and plugging it in. You can see here the standard deviation. 
is about 50. Remember we said we want to get a reasonable um, standard deviation, a sigma to replace it, so that's going to be reasonable. And um, just take it, plug it in. Remember, yes, I'm using equal to, but the answer's got to be greater than or equal to 200 and, um, 2,401. Which takes me back to my point, why Z not T in terms of this equation? Just think of it this way. Look at how big that sample size is, 374 for number 73 and 2,401. Remember, the bigger your sample size gets, your T starts to approach your Z. So that's why we use the T, excuse me, wrong. We use the Z in this equation because we don't want to limit ourselves because that's what the T star does. It is the smaller sample sizes because we know the bigger we get, the closer the T gets to the Z. Okay, so TTFN, ta-ta for now.